Hello my dear students, welcome to another episode of J Advanced PYQ discussion. Now we discuss one question from inverse trigonometry function, that's year 2015. Question says that alpha is equal to 3 sin inverse 6 by 11, beta equal to 3 cos inverse 4 by 9, where the inverse trigonometry function take only principal values. Then the correct option is or R. This question is more than one correct option. See, here it's an easy question, comparatively easy question. Alpha is equal to 3 sin inverse 6 by 11. I compare 6 by 11 and 6 by 12. Which is greater? This 6 by 11 is greater. Okay. Take sin inverse. Sin inverse of 6 by 11 greater than sin inverse of 6 by 12 is 1 by 2. This inequality does not change. Why? Sin inverse is an increasing function. Sin inverse is an increasing function. Minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Sin inverse is an increasing function. So, it becomes from minus 1 to 1. It is from minus 1 to 1. Minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Sin inverse is an increasing function. So the inequality does not change. In an increasing function x1 greater than x2, then f of x1 greater than f of x2. Next step, I write sin inverse of 6 by 11 greater than sin inverse 1 by 2. When we get 1 by 2, it becomes 30, that is pi by 6. Alpha is what? 3 into sin inverse. So, I multiply both sides by 3. 3. So, we get alpha become inverse. Alpha, this is alpha greater than pi by 2. Alpha greater than pi by 2. 0 pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 2 pi. Alpha greater than pi by 2 means alpha lies on second quadrant. Alpha lies on second quadrant. If there is any possibility this lies on third or fourth? No. Because we take a value very very close to 6 by 11. 6 by 12. There is no chance. Alpha lies on second quadrant. Alpha lies on second quadrant alpha lies on second quadrant so cos alpha is negative this option is correct alpha lies on second quadrant so cos alpha is negative we check other three option after finding beta say what is beta the value is 4 by 9 4 by 9. We compare this 4 by 9 in nearest value. It is 4 by 8. 4 by 8. Which is greater? 4 by 8 is greater. Okay. Take cos inverse on both sides. Cos inverse of 4 by 9. Cos inverse of 4 by 9. Cos inverse of 1 by 2. What happened on the inequality? The inequality will be reversed. Why? Cos inverse is a decreasing function from minus 1 to 1, 0 to pi. This become pi by 2. Cos become cos inverse become a decreasing function. Cos inverse is a decreasing function. 
so the inequality will be reversed it's a decreasing function x1 less than x2 then f of x1 greater than f of x2 but in the case of sine inverse it is an increasing function inequality does not reverse multiply both sides by 3 because beta is 3 into something 3 into cos inverse of 4 by 9 greater than cos inverse 1 by 2 is what pi by 3 60 3 into pi by 3 I take a right cos inverse 1 by 2 is pi by 3 multiplied both sides by 3 these 3 are cancelled this quantity become beta beta greater than pi beta greater than pi that implies beta lies on beta lies on which quadrant greater than pi so it is third quadrant third quadrant no chance to go to fourth quadrant because it's a very closer value very very close so third quadrant beta lies on third quadrant so third quadrant third quadrant cos is negative this option is incorrect since beta lies on third quadrant cos is negative this option is also correct third quadrant tan and cot is positive so sine is negative now we check the third options see alpha on third quadrant beta on second quadrant see alpha greater than pi by 2 beta greater than pi add these two quantities alpha plus beta greater than pi by 2 plus pi that become 3 pi by 2 so alpha plus beta alpha plus beta lies on where fourth quadrant alpha plus beta lies on fourth quadrant greater than 3 pi by 2 this 3 pi by 2 in fourth quadrant cos is positive so third option is also correct only first option is incorrect all other options b c d are correct b c d these are the correct option okay